What's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to show you how to download and install Seasons on Farming Simulator 19. Today, we're on the PC, but this will work on any platform and the process will be the same. Lots of you were asking about this a few days ago when Seasons was announced and wanted to help you out with it. So, first, what we want to do is we want to go down to Mods. Next, we're going to go over, we're going to stay on this first page, and we're going to go over and go down to Gameplay. Now, because we're on PC, we've got a bunch of stuff for Seasons already ready to go. But what we want to do is we want to go through and we want to find Seasons. Now, once this is released, it's going to be the very first thing. And we've got it right here. Click on it, and we download it just like any other mod. This is exactly the same as a normal tractor mod or anything else like that that you would download. So we're going to click boom, download. This is also a very small download as well. Works very quickly. It is a 55.49 megabyte download, at least right now on PC. Maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit less, but I don't see it being too crazy different. So now we're going to exit. I'm going to restart my game. Then we're going to bump in and we are going to start a brand new game save. Now that we've reloaded in, let's go in and let's start ourselves a new game save. Now, the thing with Seasons is it will work with existing game saves. However, not all features will work right off the bat. So if you want everything to work immediately, you're going to need to start a new game save. Now, you could start a new farmer, farm manager, or start from scratch. None of this makes a difference. And you may see some maps that say Seasons Ready or Not Seasons Ready. Well, that just means that it has a snow mask. Basically saying that if you have bales inside, you're not going to have any issues whatsoever. So these are all the maps that we have installed. And as far as I know, all of them are Seasons Ready, with the exception of Mercury Farms and Doll Ranch. So I'm going to say that and I'm going to say, all right, you know what? Let's just load up. Felsburn. Let's do it with a classic. We're going to go in. I'm going to select my character and then we want to go and we want to make sure that Seasons is one of the mods that we have installed. So here is our mods folder and we've got a bunch of mods. We're going to go down to the S's, which is where Seasons is going to be. You can see I do have Seasons turned on. Now I've got a Seasons Geo turned on. We're going to talk about those later, but for right now, I'm going to turn that off and I'm going to click start. What this is going to do is it's going to give us a brand new game save, a clean game with no anything actually on it. Not a darn thing, but we are a new farmer. That's going to help a little bit. And now we're ready to go. So let's load in. If you guys are curious, I am using an Xbox controller and I'm going to be giving you guys controls for console today. So at the bottom says, if you're not familiar with the basics of the game yet, we recommend that you go to the first two tutorials or take the guided tour of Ravenport. Uh, we're not going to worry about that today. I think you guys know how to play Farming Simulator. There's a couple things that you need to know about Seasons. So you're going to start in early spring. You're going to start in spring one, and that is where you're at. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to hold uh, left bumper and hit start on my Xbox controller. You can do the same thing, L1 and start. Or as I guess L1 and option, something like that, on your PlayStation 4 controller. And that is going to bring up the Seasons menu. Now, of course, you can also hit Shift-Alt-S, and that is going to do that as well for you on PC. And we get this page right here. This shows us where our planting is. If you see green, that means that is when you are able to plant. You can see we says 1 through 3, 4 through 6, and 7 through 9. That means that we are on 9-day seasons. Every season is split up into 3 parts, so a total of 12 sections throughout the entire year. So that means we have nine days to plant wheat. We're just gonna base on wheat right now. Now, of course, you can see there is no cotton and there is no sugar cane. That is because in seasons, it also determines what you can plant and when you can plant. And with this normal base seasons, you cannot use sea or you can't use cotton or sugar cane. That is gonna be completely dependent on not only your map, but also the Seasons Geo that you use. So I could see there, we could do that, and we can also plant again in the fall. So we have spring on the left, summer on the left middle, fall on the middle right, and winter to the far right. You can see our harvesting season through there as well. Let's go over to the next menu. This is your weather forecast. So it's going to show you uh, everything today and tomorrow and through the next days. Now, 
With this, you get your maximum temperature. You get what type of uh, overcast, cloudy, sunny that you're going to have. You also have average temperature, minimum temperature for that day. So you have your lows and your highs. Also the pre precipitation, <laughs> there we go, uh, and wind speed and the drying potential. So what this is going to do is this is going to help you say like, okay, this is what I need to plan out. Am I going to do this on Monday? Am I going to do whatever on Tuesday? That kind of thing. So of course we're starting on a Monday in game. Move over. Now we get the frost resistance and you can kind of see what is, what's good for each crop. Now I have not had to really deal with with any of these problems. I haven't had to deal with any frost issues. I haven't had to deal with any drought issues, but those kind of go on as you go. Year one is basically easy mode, more or less for seasons. And then things start to get a little bit tricky. So again, keep that in mind. You also have your economy. This is gonna tell you where you can say, where to sell and when to sell, well, just when to sell really. So I could go in here and I say, okay, in wheat, we've got a little bit of a bump in early spring, but early fall, late summer, it's very low because demand is low. Uh, everybody is harvesting at that point. So you really can't do anything. The best thing to do is don't even think about selling whenever you're harvesting. Think about getting your harvest out of the ground and getting it back to your farm because you're not going to be able to sell for later. So just keep that in mind. It's exactly the same for most of these crops. You could basically follow along and say like, okay, you know, soybeans. Well, we're doing those, you know, there's nothing in the winter, but early summer, you know, you definitely want to sell your soybeans in early summer. And it goes on throughout. Bales are interesting. And uh, we'll, we'll talk about this. So you see hay and straw bales. Yep. Because grass bales are worthless. Do not sell grass bales. If you are going to bale up grass, it is going to be used for your animals or for wrapping and making silage only. Only. Do keep that in mind. Now, of course, we have your different kinds of animals through here as well, and when the best time to sell those is. Moving on, you have your crop rotation planter. So what you could do is you can put in when you're doing what. So let's say my first rotation here is going to be fallow which they all are, and then I'm going to go in and let's see. So we've got that. Then you go in, you can see what your different kinds are. So you can set up a bunch of different ones. I think you do, yeah, four rotations total. You could just put in, okay, you know, it's a fallow, and then I'm going to do wheat, and then after the wheat, I want to do, you know, soy or sunflowers, and after that, I want to do barley, and you could set up and it will tell you when the best time to do what would be. And you can come up with uh, something. So actually, this is a really good crop rotation minus the sugar beets there at the end. We're going to add, uh, let's see. And you just kind of go through and you can find what's going to work the best. And we could stick barley after that. Now, of course, we can't do cotton. But you can see we have 1.14, 1.2. That is really good. That is really, really good. Let's move on from there. Now we go into the settings, and these are extremely important because this is going to be what you see all the time, what's going to determine what happens. So we want to go into temperature units. So with this, we can set to Fahrenheit or Celsius. This should be set standard to whatever you have in-game set to, but again, whatever is good there. Seasons, introductions, on or off. This is basically just going to say like, you know, oh, it's spring. This is when you need to get your crops in the ground, but beware of weather, you know, something like that. Um, seasons length. We go all the way from three day seasons, which is going to be just one day each thing, basically 12 days in a year. Then we have six days. So that is going to bring you to, what is it? Six, 12, a bunch. <laughs> 24 days in a year, nine days. That's going to be like 36 days in a year then 48, and then 60 days in a year. So you can see it really goes up. And you go all the way to 24, which is absolutely ridiculous. That's 48, 96 days. It'll take you in game to get through an entire year. Pretty crazy. You also have crop moisture. So um, this is going to basically say like, hey, you can't harvest your crops if they have more, you know, too much uh, moisture or something like that. Pretty neat. Snow tracks. I always turn this on. So what this does is a vehicle compresses snow when driving over it. What's going to do is it's basically going to delete an entire layer 
of snow. I leave that on because I like that snow mode. Uh, you can turn this on or off if you don't like snow and you don't want to have to deal with it, which to be honest with you, I like the snow, but dealing with it after the first year is kind of annoying. I turn it off after the first year. I always still leave snow tracks on. Doesn't really matter. Snow mode's off. Snow tracks aren't going to matter. Um, but that's the way I do that there. So my general settings, I do three-day link seasons so that I can just, I always have something to do. You may be waking up doing the same thing over and over again, but you always have something to do. I like turning crop moisture off, but I also like turning weeds off. It's just my thing. But hey, if you want to play a little bit harder, jump in. You can also change the snow to one layer as well. So if you want just one layer, when you drive over it, that one layer will delete. Now, of course, if it's off, it's off. And that is a basic rough idea of the settings in Seasons. Now you can see it's getting ready to start raining. Our uh, thing up there says now the crops are wet. And if we go in, there's one thing you guys need to know here. We're getting purchase prices for all of this equipment. Things that that's never happened for, except for placeables. They're still half the price. But with the rest of this stuff, we're getting our purchase price because we are within 30 minutes of being in game. In seasons, what you could do is if you've got the money, you could buy something, use it for less than 30 minutes, and then return it for a full purchase price. So if I wanted, if I bought, just bought this, I could use it for less than 30 minutes and then return it. That is a really, really sneaky way to go about doing things. Um, that is how I got away with doing the Goham Co. back in Farming Simulator 17 on Lone Oak Farm. But so I highly recommend if you guys are going to play, but maybe you don't want to take out a huge loan, anything like that, jump in. Try, jump into new farmer mode, sell some stuff, because you may get some good stuff. Now, there, of course, there is the thing of, well, we just started and we've got a couple buildings, but now I've only got 472 grand. And which is barely enough to buy what you need. So there are ups and downs to every mode in Farming Simulator 19 for Seasons. The best thing to do, go through, play around a little bit. Don't jump in and say, okay, I'm going to play right now. And what you need to do is jump in, try a new farmer mode, then jump in and try farm manager, and then jump in and try start from scratch. Play for 30 minutes to an hour on each. See how you like it. And see which one you want to do. Or maybe you always do one of them. And I say, if there's one that you always do, then do that one. <sighs> but it's raining and we can't do anything. Well, guys, that is going to be it for today. A very nice, short, sweet, very basic introduction to Seasons. How to download it, how to install it, and some things that you need to do right off the bat as soon as you get into the game. Don't go right into farming. Make sure all your settings are changed to the perfect settings for you so that the rest of your gameplay is going to be nice and easy. With all that being said, I hope you guys have a great day. We will see you later. Peace!